and welcome back to the channel there we see the aerial rider grizzly right there and on today's video i want to talk about fenders and as you can see there's the front fender down there and that's what it looks like on the grizzly and there's the rear fender right to there and let's hop on and go for a ride and talk about fenders on e-bikes. So let's talk about fenders on e-bikes as I fix my mirror here. So some people probably don't want fenders on their bike. I've heard of some that, you know, just don't like them. Um, for whatever reason personally I like them I'm not so worried that they don't look good because I think they do look fine but I um, I like fenders for the fact of what they do and uh, keeping you dry although I want to talk though first about the fenders on this particular bike so most bikes come with fenders right usually not always but most times but sometimes you have to buy uh, fenders. This Grizzly, the fenders came with the bike, but my first bike was the Rad Rover 4, and it didn't come with fenders. So I had to purchase the fenders uh, on that bike, and they, uh, when I bought the bike, I wanted fenders at the same time but couldn't get any because they were out of stock back order so i ordered them anyway and paid for them and then had them shipped as soon as they came in well they were 90 dollars and so um to me it was a no-brainer to get them because i let's face it you need fenders on your bike at least i think you do especially living here in oregon uh, you can really get pretty wet, you know, if you don't have fenders on your bike or muddy or whatever. And so, but I want to talk about the fenders first on this particular bike. Uh, so this particular bike, the fenders, if you notice when I showed you the fenders at the beginning of the video, they're short on this bike. And I don't think it's so much of a problem on the front of the bike. But the back, it's just too short, and this uh, bike kicks up a lot of mud and uh, and uh, wet, and so uh, the back of you and my helmet and everything can get pretty uh, pretty dirty from the uh, kickback, you know, from the fender. I think being too short. I think they need to make the fender just a little bit longer. So. So that's the Grizzly. I would make the, the fenders, they almost have to go down the wheel almost halfway to be, to be pretty good, I think. Um, but uh, just get by this turn here and then I'm going to talk some more. I'm going to talk about the Rad Rover. So the Rad Rover four the one i have um which is now four years old i've had it a little, little over four years now and like i say i had to buy the fenders uh which wasn't a you know a big deal i wanted to get them they were 90 dollars now if you buy a rad rover the newer ones um it comes with you know, with uh fenders on it most bikes, like I say, do, but there are some that they, they'll charge extra if you want fenders. But anyway, the fenders on the Rad Rover, though, are really nice. I mean, the fenders on that bike are, are long. You know, they cover a lot of the wheel, which is great for keeping you from getting all wet and mud. You know, your bike doesn't become a mud slinger. And I find that it seems to me that, that more bikes that have the smaller wheels, the 20 inch wheels, which this Grizzly has, tend to have the shorter 
Not because the wheel is 20 inch, but just the fenders don't cover as much of the wheel, I notice. And so, uh, then you get to the Rad Rover though, and those are 26 inch wheels, 26 by four. The Grizzly are here are 20 by four. But they, like I say, they cover a lot of the wheel, which is great. Um, both bikes uh, that I have have plastic uh, fenders, but some bikes have metal uh, fenders. I believe the uh, Lyric Graffiti, which I'll be getting shortly here. Um, I know I keep saying that, but it is very shortly. Anyway, um, I um, both are plastic, but it doesn't matter. But I think on the Grizzly or on the uh, Graffiti, like I said, I think they're metal on that one. So I don't really care one way or the other. Uh, I don't know if one's better really than the other. Uh, I suppose the plastic ones are, are going to be if something hits the fender it's not going to be noisy like the uh, metal ones would and the other thing about the metal is I'm sure in time they would rust right so but uh but I'm okay either way as long as the bike has fenders I'm good with that um if the bike didn't have fenders or any bike that I have didn't have fenders I would probably be uh purchasing some uh, ASAP because we do get a lot of rain here in Oregon and uh, I know somebody who uh, on their bike they have homemade they made their own uh, fenders not sure what they used or how they did it exactly but they're plastic and they form their own uh, fenders uh, which is Cool. I mean that'll save you some bucks if you can do that or want to do that but but anyway uh, yeah what do you think about fenders leave a comment in the comments below about fenders do you have fenders on your bike uh, could you live without fenders on your bike I suppose if it's high and dry in the summer or you might be able to do deal without uh, fenders but even even in the summer if you're riding on like a dirt uh, uh, trail that can kick up some some dirt at you you know or some rocks or whatever and so uh, the fenders will protect you th from that too but I don't know I'm just a I guess I'm a fender person uh, I'm on the side of yes let's have fenders but I can see on certain bikes though I guess that they may not look as cool you know but um, yeah I like the fenders temperature here today I didn't say the temperature but it is about mm, 48 I think it was and we're talking three o'clock in the afternoon overcast sky we're supposed to have rain later on uh, this evening and uh, but right now it's not bad. There's a little bit of a wind up. Um, I can tell when I go in the one direction compared to the other, uh, you can feel it more. But uh, I think having the windscreen does make a big difference. Uh, so I like using the windscreen now uh, all the time. So if you have a GoPro camera like me and you want to cut down on the wind and you don't have a windscreen on I would suggest windscreen it it does a lot they're not very expensive I think I got when I got this windscreen I think I bought it off Amazon it was a two-pack I think it was like eight dollars or it might have been even ten dollars but you know what it was worth it and uh, and even riding in the rain it doesn't seem to affect it you know it's fine so so if it does uh, rain it's not like I haven't already tested fenders but I'll be testing them again with the rain but like I say the Grizzly here though I wish the fenders were longer you know if I had a su suggestion I could give them to improve their bike that would be one of them uh, 
not standing your friend fenders. I mean, the fenders are nice. They're just not long enough, especially the back one I noticed more. Like it, your, I have the shorter stock seat on the bike. I didn't get a longer seat. Like some uh, folks, uh, they've swapped out their seat for the longer one. I've got the stock seat still on my Grizzly. And so behind it is where you can put a, you know, put things like a rack type deal. And um, it gets pretty muddy, you know, from the kickback from the tires. But overall, um, yeah, that's what I would say about the fender. Overall, uh, I mean, it does a little bit, but it doesn't do enough because they're not just not long enough, right? So. It won't be long now before we'll be getting into spring weather. Of course, here in Oregon, we'll get our spring a little bit ahead. Sometimes as we uh, get into the month of February, sometimes in my front yard, our tulips start coming up in February. So uh, we get a, a pretty good long growing season here and, and pretty nice weather once we get, I'd say once we get past February for sure but even some of the days in February can be nice but and then we get into March and April and May so that's going to do it for another video here on the channel if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button and if you would like to subscribe and haven't already hit that subscribe button and notification bell if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel and don't forget we have a a lot of videos from the past uh, six months, six and a half months now that the channel's been on. There's about 130 videos now. So if you want to check out some of the videos that we've done in the past, go ahead and uh, check, check through the, uh, the uh, channel and you'll see all the videos up there on the uh, Oregon E-Biker Mark channel. So like I say, if you want to leave a comment, go ahead and leave the comment in the comments below. And until next time. Take care.